Hi guys, it's your boy King James once again. Welcome to Swift Studio. In this lecture series, I'm going to be teaching you how to create window hood in Revit architecture in the most simple way. Now, if you're bumping into my video before, kindly hit on the subscribe button. That is, especially if you have not subscribed, so that you'll be getting awesome videos I'll be dropping. All right, let's go into lecture proper now. Okay, folks, I'm going to be teaching you how I created this uh, window hood like this. So what you do is, I'll come to level, that's uh, level one. Come to architecture, select your wall tool. Now look for a wall that is not too thick in size or even if it is thick you can just come here and edit you duplicate and I just call it uh, 100 see okay then click on edit here See, change this to 100 or maybe 120 and say okay so it depends on the thickness that you want it to be and say okay so you can see the wall there so I'll just come to this side and draw it just anyhow there's no need for measurement if it's not touching this wall you can just select it and take it back a little then go to 3d view to see what it looks like now let me click outside so this is it so I'll select it now and then I'll click on edit profile then select this uh, side view I'll zoom very well I can just group select everything and delete then come to rectangle to draw over this and then I can come to here just type B just type say 100 that's the thickness from here aside from here that's it uh, then I'll stop here that's all so alternatively if I don't want to do it like that I can use the idea is to be able to offset it to 100 or whatever distance you want then let me finish it up now it's there already then I'll select this home let me zoom it out so you see so this is it so that's how I created it now I can come to if all things being equal I can just duplicate it if I want to duplicate it I will select it I can't duplicate it from here I'll select edit profile then group select since the windows are the same size then come to copy then select multiple pick it from here drop it here and drop it here cancel out let's see I don't think this is this particular one is not correct I didn't place it well so because they are not sitting on the same okay the both of them are not are not well placed but so I can do them now Let's select this just finish it up then come to home then the next thing is to go and 
that color. So that's basically it. That's how to create. You can create whatever kind of design you want to do with that method. So, folks, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more subsequent videos. My name is King James. I'll see you next class.